Hey guys, I'm back. Mike Robert here. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to like and subscribe. In this video, we're going to be going over how to how to create high converting Google ad landing pages that work. Um, in this specific case, I'm showing you guys a proven template that we have been using now for quite some time. Uh, my agency and I have, have made over well over a thousand different types of landing pages for a multitude of different industries. And uh, we've been through a lot of trial and error, as you can imagine, pages that just completely don't work. And then figuring out once we have a page that's working, how to enhance it and fine tune it. And what you're looking at here is a template of just that, right? So this is designed to help those that are struggling to generate leads right now with Google Ads. Maybe you have the right keywords, but for whatever reason, there's a disconnect when people come to your landing page, all right? We've seen this time and time again. And our goal is that you're able to gain something of value from this video, implement it, and then by all means, you know, uh, drop it in the comment section if this has been helpful for you. All right, so what I want to do in this video is essentially go through the psychology of this page and what you're looking at so you have a better understanding of what's going on and then educate you on why this page converts very well. All right, um, the first thing is understand the mindset of someone that is searching for something on Google. Uh, typically, you're going to have high intent, but let me just give you an, an under, an, uh, like a background of what that means. So when you have high intent, understand that most people on Google are still in the research phase. So yes, they are looking for your product or service, but they are still in the research phase. And you have to combine that with the service that you offer. So unless you're in an emergency related service of some sort, your page has to be able to convey a certain message the right way in a short and concise um, way that gets the person to take action. And this is what led us to this particular style of page. Um, we didn't start here. We started with a very similar look, but we slowly and surely carved and fine tuned and we'll test it here and test it there. And then, you know, implement it in many places and see, we see consistent data. This tells us we have a very, very strong page. All right. So let's go through it. All right. The person comes to the page and the first thing they're going to see is the company name right now obviously that seems like a no-brainer but sometimes people will put their logo in and their logo is hard to read or their logo just um, doesn't really fit the color scheme of the page or the look or the style I've seen that a number of times and the downside is if the person cannot make out your company name then they may be hesitant in contacting you because their lack of knowledge, who am I calling, is, is low. We need to raise that. And we're going to use this page to do that. All right. The second thing is phone number. We want the phone number to be at the top of the page. That way they can call you right away. Even though this is a desktop view, I'll show you the mobile in a moment. This is going to allow them to pick up the phone and dial your office for the services that you offer. All right. Third thing is our unique sales proposition. This is a very, very important section. In this section here, we want to implement keywords or I'm sorry, core keywords that we're using in our Google ads to convey the message about who your company is in a very, very concise way, roughly about five to eight sentences long, no more. It doesn't need to be a very, very long paragraph. I would say roughly five to eight sentences long. Um, and, and how you do that makes a big difference. So you want to convey the right message in that section. And we have found that to be very, very important. All right. The next section below that, in this case, we're offering free quotes to uh, consumers looking to get information on roofing. Could be roof repair, roof replacement, right? Whatever their problem is that they need to solve. All right. Now, if you're in a different uh, industry and you're not offering a free quote maybe it's a consultation all you do is come in here and just change the language right or maybe you want to offer a PDF or um, you know uh, like a like a spa might want to offer a free massage or 20 30 minutes or something like that you can just put whatever you're offering here and then the consumer is going to be able to fill out their information and then hit submit all right that will be a lead all right the next section this section is very, very 
very important. I think this section honestly doesn't get as much attention as people may think, but we use software that tells us roughly 60, 60 to 70 percent of the of the time spent on the landing page is within the review section. Okay, we have software that has told us this time and time again, and what that tells us is that if people are spending that much time reading reviews, we need to make sure that we understand what people are looking for in order to make a decision. So we have to you know, basically survey the reviews our clients have, and we found the best ones that really work are really descriptive reviews, reviews that essentially align with the problems other people are most commonly able to have and, and, and how the company was able to um, solve them. I'll give you an example of that. Uh, since we're talking about roofing, right? Let's just say a customer that Mike's Roofing Company was able to help um, um, had uh, had um, uh, trees overhanging their house, and because of that, it was causing damage, and uh, rodents were always uh, damaging the roof, and um, when you know branches are falling on the roof, and not not big ones, but just small branches, but causing more damage. Right now, the person gets gets Mike to come out, give him an estimate, and they like Mike's company, and because of that, they decide to hire Mike. The person can share all of that, let's just say they do, in a review. Well, the way that they shared it and conveyed it may be very similar to situations that the, um, I'm sorry, the experience that someone is having right now, and they're saying to themselves, well, you know, that, that's exactly, you know, the, the issue I'm having. I'd like to have, so they're going to have common ground versus someone that just says, oh, Mike is a great company. Give him a call. That really, that's not bad, but that's not going to really move the needle for the type of leads you want. And so we find that when you can find the reviews, whether it's from your, your client's Google, Google page or um, Yelp page or wherever they have them, or if you're the business yourself, right, using the right reviews makes a big difference. This is also why, you know, we don't use the uh, testimonial sliders or the, the, like the ones that will just pull all your reviews. That's good. But again, it's too, it's too long. If you have 100 plus reviews, now you have people going through every review and they're not doing what? They're not taking action. They're not calling. A f so you don't want her to do that. Just pick about five or six good reviews that you have and put them up there and have them read through it and then let them take action by calling or filling out the form. I also want to show you guys how this will look in the mobile view because most people are going to be on mobile, okay? Um, this is how it would look. As you can see, it's very clean. It's very, it's right to the point, right? It should be Mike's Roofing, but Mike Roofing is the name of the company. Um, very right, it's right to the point. You can call, you can fill out a, um, you can read more. So this would be the section here where it will take up about this much space. Then we have this option here. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Get a free quote. If you want to, you can add another box to just improve a little bit of the lead quality, but you can still test this just to kind of see if there's a, a fall off rate. So for instance, what I mean is, let's say we put another box that's a description box, meaning the customer is going to have to type out what their problem is. Most people fall off at that point. And the reason is, is they, maybe they're not serious enough. Maybe they don't have the time. I mean, they don't have the time to fill out a two second quote request form. They may not be the best customer for you. You know, you wouldn't know that until you test it, but they just have to take 30 seconds to fill this out. They could fill out an extra box. What is their issue? Hit submit. You'll get the lead. And then of course, down here, we have our testimonials. The reason the mobile view is important is what we're looking for is, let's see, one, this is about right now one and a half scroll. When we put in the testimonials, that's going to push it to about a two to two and a half scroll, which is exactly what you want. You don't want to really go beyond that. Now, if you offer a service where I, I thought about, I tried to think because we've created a lot of different uh, landing pages in many different industries. I, I can't really think of an industry where you might need more than that. But if you are in one, I would find try to find a way to, to not go beyond three and a half scroll and then test it because you should be able to have a more concise page. And I think that sometimes when you have too much information, that could be one of the issues that you're experiencing with a fall off rate, meaning people have 
gotten everything they needed or now they're confused and they don't want to take action so keep things very very simple on the page and as you can see this page here it's not like you know like I guess they're very simple there's no images here for a reason they don't load very quickly sometimes they'll load sometimes they won't and some you'll have gaps like this in your landing page which will look weird right it looks distorted you don't want to have that um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping to, to watch this video. I hope it's been very helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And then for those of you that are looking for a more one-on-one -on -one approach, you're looking for a strategy call, maybe you want me to review your landing page that you're using right now. I've done this for a number of students and it's been very, very helpful for them. What you can do is there's a link in the description below. And you can book a one-on-one -on -one call to speak with me. We can go over your page. I can review it for you and let you know where we can make some adjustments. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, I appreciate you guys stopping to watch this video. And I'll see you on the next one.